Hello, how are you? So today I want to talk about this strange ass story, this nasty ass disturbing story that I came across on the internet about Daz Dillinger claiming that Jada Pinkett Smith had an entanglement with Criss Cross rapper Chris Kelly from the 90s group Criss Cross, you know, jump, jump. Um, so I feel like we always talk about men taking advantage of women, but we kind of just leave it alone. We don't want to talk about women take advantage of men. And I really find this disturbing. It's disturbing because no matter male or female, if they're being, having their lives disrupted by a nasty ass adult, then they should just be handled. The situation be, should be handled. I know that we see men, you know, boys, especially as they get into their teenage years, like, oh, they can handle themselves. You know, if they get with older women, it's not so bad because they're men now, but it's like, no, they're boys. They still have the mentality of a boy when they're under 18 and they don't deserve to be tampered with by some nasty ass trick. So I'm going to read this article and I'm just going to say allegedly at the beginning so I don't have to say it throughout. But this dude has some pretty strange things to say and he didn't have a problem with saying it. So I'm going to read this to you guys real fast. This article is was posted October 1st, 2021, Friday. So Daz Dillinger has claimed that Jada Pinkett Smith once had an entanglement with underage rapper, the late Chris Kelly of Criss Cross. According to Hot News Hip Hop, Daz Dillinger revealed in an interview that it happened when Kelly was 15 and Jada was 22. Nasty. He said, you think Jada Pinkett was entangling? She was entangling with Chris Kelly from motherfucking Chris Cross. Chris Cross was in the room and Kelly was like, Jada Pinkett is at the door, but don't leave. Take this weed, chill. We're like, damn, he gave us an ounce of weed. We gonna kick it right here. Then he came back in and said, yeah, that was Jada Pinkett. I'm like, damn, that's Jada Pinkett at a young age? 1993, around that way. She was entangling then. Shout out to Jada. No, no shout out to Jada. Jada doesn't get a motherfucking shout out if she was sleeping with a 15 year old when she was 22. That's nasty and that's trifling. And you can't give nobody no high fives. You don't get no motherfucking kudos when you are grown ass person sleeping with an underage kid. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a flying fuck. How famous he was, if he was rich at that time, he was 15. Straight up, it's straight up like that. He was under 18 and your trifling ass called yourself trying to get with a 15 year old. That's nasty. <sighs> Kelly died in 2013 from an overdose at 34. So we don't really know what went on with this young man when he died of a drug overdose. But I'm going to say this. Healthy people are not using drugs. People that have their lives straight, that haven't had no kind of trauma, are not doing drugs. And if they are, those people just like to party. Most of the time, when you're attacking your body with drugs and to plying yourself with alcohol and doing all this fuck shit to yourself, it's because you have trauma. I can't say that for everybody, but for the most part, if you're doing unhealthy things to yourself, it's because you have trauma. Now, if this trifling heifer was in fact messing with him at 15, she contributed to his trauma along with the industry and whatever happened to him there. Because we know a lot of fuck shit goes on in Hollywood to these young people 
and then we pretend like we didn't know about it. It's a running joke as if we should be joking about it. Meanwhile, these people are having hard ass lives and not wanting to live because an array of people let them be abused and didn't say shit about it. I'm fucking over it. So let me just leave you with these last things. Men can be abused. Men can be sexually attacked. These things can happen to men, especially young boys that think that this woman likes me and she's older. It's a good look. They can be abused as well. So let's stop playing these games. And all of you nasty trifling bitches out there that love to interact with underage age people, you need your fucking asses whooped. So my last theory, women that sleep with young, young, young men that they don't even have any kind of reason to be around them. They're that young. I feel like they sleep with young people so they can take their energy and they can siphon their youth. I know how crazy that sounds, but it always seems like when you got a nasty trifling ass 60 year old trying to get with like a 20 year old, what do you really want with them? You're still in their energy, you nasty fuck. I really can't, uh, say that that's fact that's just my theory but uh on on the truthful side leave these young people alone let them sleep with people in their own age group and stop trying to just coerce people into relationships because you can't find anybody your own age you're trifling stop sleeping with young people i hope you guys have a wonderful day bye